Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines, better known as the One Hand Mechanic. If I can do it, you can too. Today we have here a John Deere Sabre. This is actually 23 years old. This is a 17 horsepower, 42 inch cut. And I'm gonna show you guys how to install a mower deck belt. For a couple things we're gonna to need today is one, of course, we're gonna need the belt. And the belt is gonna be specific to your John Deere. So make sure that you go and check on the John Deere website and make sure you're getting the correct belt. I definitely recommend always using the OEM belts. This belt here is actually a little bit thicker than a half inch belt and it definitely makes a difference when you uh, use the OEM belts. I'm going to use a pry bar, a, a pair of pliers, a half inch wrench, and a couple of blocks here to lift the mower deck up. It's a little bit tricky of a mower deck. First thing you want to do is put the emergency brake on, lock it in, put your mower deck down as far as you can put it down, Lock that in, front belt first. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to get this out of the way right here. This is a bracket. And this is a real old school way of doing it, but it really works well. The deck, the belt won't fall off whatsoever. It's uh, very nice, but it's real sturdy in there. And we have to, this one here can be pulled down and out of the way, but unfortunately up top here, we have to get the nut right here loose. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen that up. Okay, just remember lefty loosey, righty tighty. Now, all I'm going to do is loosen this up enough that I can move this out of the way. I'm not taking this off. Okay, now once you have that loose, I'm just gonna pull down on this. There's a couple different holes, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to show you these holes or not, but there's a couple different holes up in here, and I definitely recommend using a magic marker, you know, and I think I actually put a little magic marker from the last time this was in. Just make sure you get it back up in the right hole on this bracket. We're gonna pull this down out of the way here and move it off to the side, and then as you pull it off to the side, you're gonna take your motor deck belt off the engine pulley and then up and around the bracket and then you have to slide the bracket out or move the bracket away and then bring that belt down and then over the bracket like that. It's a little tricky but it's a great, I mean when they made this, I mean it's a, it's a good bracket, it works real well, keeps the belt from falling off. While we're up here we have two rods that we have to get off. We're just going to take off this rod here. And I definitely recommend if you are going to leave the mower deck off, take this rod out of the machine. Um, we're going to leave it on just because the fact that we're just doing the mower deck belt. We just take it out of the machine. We have this side off. Coming back to the back side here. Okay, so you have a, right up here, we have a pin. And this is a little tricky on this one because if you, watch, if you look at how the, the bracket that goes all the way back to the mower deck and it comes here, this is the very strange things that John Deere did. But the way this moves up and down is on a roller here and the whole mower deck moves up and down. First you take the, the clevis pin out and then you push this. Now I'm going to lift up on the mower deck on the side and I'm going to push this pin out just enough that this will fall down like that. Go over to the other side. I'm going to go ahead and take the right pin, right clevis pin out, and this rod. I'm just going to push it back a little bit. Now, this one has a mulching plate on it right here. I'm going to take this mulching plate off because it kind of hinders the way the shield is. This flap, the safety flap, is right here. So I just wanted this down as far as I could get it so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Again, underneath here, we have the clevis pin and then the pin. Now this is very tight, so I'm gonna put a block of wood underneath the center of the deck right here. Just to get the weight off of it, you may not be able to see this very easily. But you can see the weights off of it and then you just push that pin back 
Now, if you, if you want to take the pin all the way out, all right, since I have that off now, I'm going to go ahead and remove this block of wood. Be careful of your fingers. Set it down on the ground. Now, the pin is just resting here, okay? It's a very long pin. And you can take them out. I just leave them in because I'm going to put the mower deck right back on. If you're not going to leave the mower deck on, make sure you take those pins out. Now, while we are here, we also have to take off. This is the blade engagement rod. And there is a pin on top. Take the clevis pin off like that. And then there, you drop it down. And there should be a washer on top, which it is. Okay, so there's a washer that goes on there. And when I put this back up in the in the um, hole right here, I normally will put a block of wood to hold it up for me. Everybody with two hands, you should be able to hold one up and then put the other one in. But it's a little bit tricky. All right, so at this point, we should be able to pull this out. To be careful that you're clear of, of everything. And it is hanging up a little bit in the back here. These arms very strange to this mower so I got hung up a little bit right here you just have to just be aware and it'll come out and I definitely recommend if you can do this on asphalt or concrete it makes just it's a lot easier but you got to do what you got to do all right at this point the reason why we're doing this belt we have two reasons one right here belt is in really bad shape right there and two this guy's idler pulley broke off and that's why it's in here. All right, now these right here from the factory are metric, and this has been in my shop many times, so now these are standard. I think it was a 13 millimeter, but I'm using carriage bolts, and I think they're half inch on there. And then we're gonna take the cover off. We have to take these guys off here. I'm pretty sure this is metric here, and here, and here. So let's go ahead and get some wrenches, and uh, we'll get this belt taken care of. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to lift this up. Be very careful lifting up your mower deck. You don't want to drop it and get hurt. We have three half inch nuts with washers holding this cover on. And this cover is important because it is a cover that actually... The cover holds, keeps the belt. It's like a, it's like a belt guide. I'm going to go ahead and put it back down. Be careful of your fingers. It's in a 916 socket. So I'm going to say this is a 15 millimeter. And you just like I said, you don't have to take it off all the way, but you have to be able to get your guide up. And basically this guide was sitting straight in line with the main bracket here. So just make sure when you put it back on there, it's not like this or it's like this. It's about like that. So I'm going to go ahead and take the belt off here, take it off of here. Just have to lift that up. See if it works. Yeah. It's fine. Just have to sneak that around there. And you may have to take it all the way off. But this guy just pops around like that. Right here. This one here is a 10 millimeter. Just moving it out of the way just enough to be able to get the belt out from there. And this actually right here, there's a divot right here. So if you do misalign this, this will fit into a little divot under there. I'll take it out for you so you guys can see that. Okay, so there's a hole right here and there's a little teeny like a divot on the end of that. So technically, technically you can't get this one wrong, okay? But it is important that it's at the right spot. And try not to strip that out. If you strip it out, then you just have to put a nut on the other side of it. All right, so at this point, we should be able to get this belt out. Definitely match it up with your new one. If you can, if it's broken, then obviously you can't. That's why it's very important to get the right belt. It's a long E, and it's correct. 
Okay, so we have to do the idler pulley here. And I think that's gonna be a half inch or a 13 millimeter again. And I'm gonna use a half inch socket on this. This one is a nut and bolt. So you technically have to hold the bottom. And then it'll fall through. Now at this point, you want to put the belt on because obviously this is this is a stationary guide which cannot be moved. So you want to put the belt on now. It's gonna go like this. It's gonna go here like this. It's gonna go back underneath here. Now we just gotta make sure we tighten everything up. And put this pulley on here. Now see that's where you have to make sure that you're, put the belt in first, make sure it's tight. This guy here has to be straight back right like that. Once I get it snug, then I try to line up the guide where I need it to be. It's right about there. Make sure it's not rubbing. Let's go here. I have to tighten up. Tighten this guy up right here. Let me see guy here. All right, so that is pretty much it. Always check, make sure your other pulleys are okay. And I would definitely check your brake pads, which are right here. This is kind of hard to see, but when you, let me see if I can engage and disengage. When you engage the mower deck, you have a pad right here that, that moves away from your pulley, but also make sure that that's on there. Because when you disengage it, this metal part will squeak against here, and you wonder why you have a loud screech. That's why, because your brake puck is actually missing. You have one on this side also, so it's right here. Okay, so just make sure you have them. And then, okay, and also remember, this one here, let me see if I can feel it. Yeah, right here has a grease fitting right here, which I just greased. All right, so we got a grease fitting there, and we also have a grease fitting on this side. So make sure if your mandrel spindles have grease fittings, just go ahead and grease them. It, trust me, it'll save you in the long run. There's a lot of comments stating whether or not sealed bearings versus non-sealed bearings, but trust me, I've been doing it a long time. Just grease your bearings and you'll be much happier and your mower deck will like you for it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put the cover on the outside here, which is actually a cover slash blade guide. And they actually put a metal guide right here that actually is not wearing at all which is good but the inside is a little bit here but this is a they have these little bump outs because it actually helps keep this belt on if this guy if this belt guide wasn't on this would just drop down when you disengage the mower deck belt so you just have to remember that, that all the uh, covers and guides are there for a reason this is actually a belt cover slash guide just putting the carriage bolts back in from the bottom up and you do have to be careful when you tighten these that you don't tighten them too much because you don't want to crack the plastic now what I do to hold these bolts from falling back out is I'm actually pulling the plastic against this bolt and it actually is holding it in it makes it easy for me to put the nut back on without dropping it back and then once I Get a wrench on it. And I'm just snugging it up.
this point, you want to make sure that your blade engagement rod is above the belt, like this. You're going to put your hangers down. Now, what I was saying about these hangers is that this is just a very strange, really weird way of putting a, a hanger on a, on a mower deck. But these, this part right here rolls against a roller, which is underneath on the, uh, the up and down for the, the bracket for the up and down movement. And then right here, believe it or not, this is your adjustment for the side to side. And you can see on this side, there's actually a slot. So you loosen this one up and then you loosen this right here. One or the, you loosen both of these nuts up and then you can go up or down. Well, you have to loosen one and tighten the other. And that will actually move this arm up and down and that gives you your side to side height. Unfortunately, they didn't put one on this side. Way back in the day, I don't know why, but you can only adjust one side. Um, but we haven't had too many problems with these mower decks being uh, way out of adjustment. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move this back in. And if you need to, sometimes you, you can move the front wheels left or right a little bit so you can see the, the steering wheels so you can get the mower deck out. Mower deck back in again, but just manipulate them through. I'm going to pull it, pull it through, and what I normally do is I'll pull it through until the arms right here, I'm going to show you that. These, believe it or not, these roll. If you look this up on a parts breakdown, this is a roller, and then inside this roller, there's another bushing. And so when these are tight, this rolls. And it's designed on how this operates is that this goes back in, this, this goes back in the slot, and it just slides up and down. And I'm going to go ahead and lift up the mower deck so you can see this. See how it's moving up and down? That's the height adjuster up and down. Now, this height adjuster up here is very spring-loaded, so be very careful. I'm not sure if, uh, if you push the, the release on this, it is really spring-loaded. So be careful that doesn't snap up and hurt yourself. All right, so we have to line these up and get it back like that. Now what I'm going to do is, when you put these up, as you can see, long way to go to get up in here. It's just the way it is. It's not a good design as far as putting this thing back on again. So what I'm going to do is, we're going to go ahead and put the front arms back in first up here, like this. And you put your washer and your clip on. And while we're on this side, I'm going to get underneath there and I'm going to try to put the, the arm for the PTO blade engagement in the bracket right there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to use a, a block, a wood block. And it helps me keep this up from falling down because I can't hold it up. I just have to get it in here far enough that it won't fall down like that. And then I'm going to put the washer on top. And this is usually where it'll drop down. So the washer's on there. And I can just see the hole. And we're going to put that in. All right, so that's on there with the washer. I'm going to drop that down now. We're going to go around to the other side. Okay, we're just going to take this rod from the front, put it in a slot, washer. And if you do take these rods out of the front, you might want to mark them left and right, just so the adjustment is where it was and the rod gets back put back where it was. Now, you also have to remember that back here, Make sure that this one's in the slot, which it is. And again, make sure, well, you should make sure that they, these rollers roll. Both, both sides of mine roll. If they don't, then you're going to have to take it apart, clean it, put it back together again. Or you can get the parts from John Deere. Now, the hard part is putting this back up. You can see how far away we are, right? And by putting the mower deck up doesn't help. I've tried it, and that's why I leave the pin here in the frame. Okay, so I leave this pin in the frame, and I leave it out a little bit, just enough to catch this arm. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put a 
four by four, four inch by four inch block of wood underneath the center. And you kind of have to balance the deck just like you have to kind of manipulate it up or down, left or right a little bit. You may have to move your block a little bit too. Might be really hard to see this, but it's got it so much closer by putting my four by four in there and I do have to manipulate a little bit. All right, so there it is, it's in. You do have to turn the pin to where you can find the, the hole for the clevis pin. So I use just use feel of my fingers and then I put it in like that and I go ahead and take the block out and just make sure I always double check to make sure that this is in the slot right here which it is now since we're on this side we're gonna go ahead and put the brand new belt up and through in fact I think I have to put you have to start with the, left, the right side of the belt put it over the bracket there and the Now, getting the, the right spot, and I have it marked right like that. Okay, so you just have to make sure you put this guide back where it came from, and then we have to just make sure you get that tight, because you don't want that to, you don't want it to loosen up on you and fall down. You'll, you'll ruin your brand new belt within a couple times of cutting the grass, and it'll vibrate loose. So let me get this tight and then I'll get on the other side real quick. Okay, so I'm on the other side and like I said about the pin, I just pushed this pin in enough to just uh, give me enough room. Now it is definitely a lot easier once the other side is on and I should be able to, it looks like we just have to move the deck back a little bit and then I always make sure that your rear bracket is in over here. Make sure that's in where it's supposed to be. And I'm gonna just have to pull I'm gonna pull the mower deck back a little bit because I can tell it's just not lined up. So I'm gonna pull the mower deck back a little bit and then push in the pin like that. And then we just have to find the hole for the pin, for the clevis pin, and it's right there. So there it is, okay. All right, so at this point, make sure all your belts are going around your guides. And then I'm gonna go ahead and engage the mower deck like that. All right, so the mower deck is engaged. I always check the tension just to make sure it's there. Always check the belts. I always, I'm gonna go around the air side and check this side and you guys can stay there, but I'm just checking this one pulley that we put on, that new pulley. Okay, everything looks good now. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust tire pressure, level the deck out. Um, I would run the mower deck first before you level the deck out. And then uh, make sure you always make sure you take your PTO off before you start your engine or it will not start. So that pretty much sums it up for how to put a mower deck belt on a 42 inch John Deere Sabre. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, tell your friends about my channel, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.